This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. We've got Capoli back on the channel, getting another top for the team. Right, Carrying us a little bit here at this point, aren't you? Someone's got to. <laughs> it's, the, it's the first one of the format. Hopefully, many more to come. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. So, what did you play today, and where was your finisher yeah, position record? Uh, well, I played Bird Up, Lyrilus, Cry right, Brigade, right. and I finished X1, got second place. Yeah, that'll do nicely, wouldn't it? And uh, yeah, well, not much else to say on that. Really, no, yeah, is yeah, fairly standard. Okay, we'll go, cool. Uh, straight into it. Let's get Okay, take us away when you're ready. All right, then. Okay. It's a fairly standard list. So, we'll start off with the Tri Brigades. Yep. So, three fractal. Obviously, insane. If you. Get your full board combo if you already have the warbler or a way to it. Mm -hmm. Or if not, it, it, it's gets you most plays basically. Yep. So obviously by itself you can just make it for some more depending on what your hand is. Obviously it's, it's part of many many combos. So mm -hmm. then to go with it, we've got the three nerval. Again, it's a win win beast. So it might as well say liberal in its name. You use it for all of the combos as well. Yep. So pretty strong. Uh, then the one kit and the one keras. Again, uh, part of the combos gets you to your extenders. Oath as well, which you'll see later on. Pretty good, so that's that. Then onto the Liberalists, we play three Warbler. Obviously, not much really to say about that. Probably best card, best starter in the deck. Yep. Uh, pairs very well with the three Cobalt. Yep. Just hope you don't get drolled on this one, but if it happens, it happens. Uh, then two Swallow. Uh, I know some people play one of this, but I tend to find if you don't have the extra card, you end up having to banish it for your Shuri. Yeah. So having the second one to make the bigger ensemble comes up quite often, so that's always pretty good. And then two Canary. I tended to find you clog quite a lot on three. So I, I cut it down to two because, again, you search it. You search like five or six times like your normal combo. Yeah. So you literally can add any piece you're missing. Depending on what your opening hand is, then I literally only play the one wagtail. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Off again, by itself, does nothing. You already have the three bird call, and again, you search as part of your combo to get you the bird call. So, and again, with bird call only being once per turn, if you open one, this doesn't really do anything that turn. Yeah. It only gets you one for the next turn, which in theory, there shouldn't really be one. Yeah. So, that's that. And then, okay, even for the combo, and the one crow which you can search is part of the combo depending on what you're playing against. And obviously again, if push comes to shove, it's a wing beast that you can normal summon to activate Swallow in hand, which I had to do. I've seen it so many it's, times as well. I, it was painful, but it gets you there sometimes, so it is what it is. Yeah, fair. So that's all of the monsters. And spells, we have three shiny prosperities. Not actually a huge fan of this card, no? to be honest. No. Yeah, I, I mean, there are times where it does get you there, but I, n I never banish six off of it because there's a deck just in these too many resources. Yeah. So, like, even most of the time, when you banish three off of this, if it then gets you into full combo, you have like two cards left in the extra. Yeah. And it's just if they do end up breaking your board, which isn't impossible, yeah. Like, yeah, it's a really strong board, but it can be broken. And in that scenario, you don't have any follow-up to kill them. You, you can end up just losing the game off of that. So. Yeah. And uh, three bird call. Again, nothing really to say about this. Obviously, game two and three, you can play around Droll by sending to Graves. So you don't need to add to the hand, yeah. which is always nice. So it's not a auto-lose if it's what you have to do as part of your start combo. So and then we move into the board breakers. I mean, three Dark Ruler. And... Droplets. Both just insane strong at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's. I kept sort of. I'm mean, an hour in whether to go for the board breaker version or whether to play the hand traps. Uh, I couldn't really decide. So I just stuck with what I had been playing, which was the board breakers. Yeah. With best. I didn't really want to change going into a regional and then it not work and then obviously it, it just it just pissed me off to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, decided to stick with what we know rather than changing it in the future. Who knows. <laughs> We'll see what happens. Obviously, we've got the brave stuff coming out in the new year, so obviously that will change things a lot as well. So, 
Uh, and then one tanky, one foolish, one monster reborn. Just the one offs. Yeah, like they're insanely strong. Obviously, this gets you the, into your fractal for whatever you need, whether it's just to do a standard tri brigade combo or to get you that extra bird is really strong. Mm -hmm. Uh, foolish again, pretty much kind of acts as a, as a tanky because obviously it just gets you the fractal which you use to foolish anyway. Yeah. So that's that. And reborn is just broken. Like there were against round five, four or five. I want to say it was. I played against uh, DP Prankids. Uh, played against Artin, who you all know. Um, ended up forcing out his DP. Off he activates it in grave. I then reborn his. DP on my side of the field, and um, I already I crowed his dasher, which meant he was forced to summon the celestial back during his turn. Yeah, which means he then can't get the draw two because obviously you can't use it to turn yeah, it into yeah. graveyard. So just little things like that, or uh, reborning a Zeus and then being able to get the extra materials like um, crashed a nib token into a nib because they were both three k gets you the extra materials, which is always nice. Yeah. So it's just another it's a power play after they've stopped you as well. So mm -hmm. then traps. Three impermanence, one of the better hand traps because there's not much that can really stop it. I guess you can use it going first anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can. Hopefully, you can. Yeah, just set it if you need to. Hopefully, during your opponent's turn, it's set against like, things like the mirror, where a lot of the time they make the Draco future first. Hopefully, this doesn't care about that, so yep. you just stop. But they normally summon the kit, banish four. You imp it nine times out of ten. Their turn ends. Yep. So, and then one oath. Hate, hate drawing this card. Yeah. But it's just. I know a lot of lists have stopped playing it now. I think it's the one way to stop people breaking your board a lot of the time. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like it stops that dark ruler or whatever. Exactly, you know. yeah. And obviously pairing it with the last next card in the main Imperial Order as well. It's just. Don't really want to play this, but I think you kind of have to. Yeah. Like if you draw it as well, it's not. Terrible, provided you can still end on full combo. Obviously, you can avian and then summon avian back out with this by targeting your dragon lords. Yeah. So it's not great, but it's not awful. It's not like a super guard. It's just... No, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And of course, or you can decide to uh, keep it in hand and uh, or set it either way, and then send it to the grave off of the double dragon lord, which then makes it live. Yeah, or you can set up so... droplet and things like that as well. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are ways to put it in the grave. So even if you set up full board with this in hand. You can still make it live during your opponent's turn to yeah. stop their board breakers as well. So, yeah. So that's the main uh, forty-one cards because I couldn't find anything to cut. Sure, whenever <laughs> you will. Uh, do you want side or extra? Uh, we'll do extra first. Extra. And then we'll do side. Sure yeah. thing. So we'll go. Uh, start with an armrage. Yep. Not amazing, but you have the hands where you have to normal summon. To get it off board, whether it's being nervous or uh, one of the birds that only trigger off a special. If you send it into grave, something like if you have a barrel in hand or something like that, mm -hmm. like it's it's not good, but it's needed because there are times where it comes up, and it's the difference between having a play and not having a play. So yeah. it's kind of needed. Uh, one Fergie. Uh, again, part of all your combos is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, one win. Now I put this in the deck probably. Three, four weeks ago now. Yeah. Uh, haven't summoned it once. <laughs> Not a single time. On paper, it's very good. On, on paper, it's insane. Like in in the mirror match, being able to get you that extra card, so like summon back one of their their wagtail or their um, cobalt or something like that, just to get you the extra, is really nice. But mm -hmm. it just hasn't come up yet. But it's kind of a bit of a free spot. So I was originally playing the third recital, which you'll see in a minute. I'm only playing two now, so it could switch back and forth between the two of those. But yeah, there isn't a huge amount of other cards you could play, so it kind of gives you the freedom to play this one. So sure, uh, double dragon lords, uh, nothing really to say about that. Pretty good if in a simplified game state, you can just win you the games. Yep. So uh, once a morgue, again, nothing really to say about that. And then the two shireg. Yep. Uh, because a lot of the time you use one as part of your opening combo and then if it gets to a turn three it's nice to have a second one to make that extra push if needed depending on what you're playing against so uh, and we move into the exceeds we play two recital mm -hmm. obviously absolutely insane there's nothing really to say about this obviously you can then you can also team it up with the one assembled if like 
against uh, Ignister, I've done it many a time. Let's make a big guy, just make a couple of these in a recital, and just crash into it to kill them. So the most common way I've lost against this deck yeah. is you leave something, like, for, I mean, I play Gren, so it's different, but yeah. leave a Gren up and they go, okay, you didn't kill me this yeah, turn. Yeah, no, leave, leave something big up that is normally hard to deal with. You just go, okay, well... Punch, they have to kill punch, you when they get punched. Punch big, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then, obviously, depending on, even if it's not game, obviously, you can just use this just to make a Zeus. Yeah. Like, obviously, and leave with stuff, obviously... This is normally made into your Draco, so you've got this as an easy Zeus, because obviously you can just attack directly. Yep. And that gets you your attack in. Uh, Ensemble, really, really good card. Obviously, the not once for turn bounce is kind of a bit insane, <laughs> Pretty to good. be honest. So then the fact that it just adds back as well, so your ball gets ulti, just adds your wobbler back, and then just makes the exact same play again the following turn. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's then turn three, so you normally just kill them instead. Yep. So. Uh, then we have the F Zero package, the Utopic Future, and the Draco Future. Yeah. Um, really strong. And again, with the um, remote YCS this morning, they were ruling it that even if you don't have any free zones, you can still negate something on field with this. Okay. Which seems insane to me. But hey, if that's what they're going to rule. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the card reads that you have to take control. But obviously, they ruled it that if you don't have a spot for it, then it just goes to grave instead. Which it's just cute. seems makes it's it insane. infinitely better than it already was. So, if that's how they're gonna keep it going forward, then this card just becomes even better than it was already. So, yep. And then one download and the one Zeus for the obvious go second players. Yep. So, that's the extra. We'll move on to the side now. Uh, side's pretty simple. I'll whip through it quick. Uh, three draw. Strong. Strong. Many, many matchups it's good in. So it's kind of a pretty staple card for going second these days. Yep. So then three Lancia, which I actually only put in today, actually worked really good. Obviously in the mirror it's pretty good. It's often doing the tribe gauge stuff, it they end on a limited combo. Mm -hmm. And again, Sword Soul as well, it limits a lot of the tenue plays. Yep. So that, I really like that. Uh, three twin. Because I don't want to lose to things like Schism or Pandemonium and even against uh, Flun uh, Flunder, you stand by, get rid of the trap because that's main phase only again. So, and obviously, a lot of people are playing like Anti Spell, Imperial Order. There's a lot of back row that you want to get rid of that you need chainable cards to. Something like Lightning Storm just won't do anything against a lot of those cards. Yep. So, that's that. And then, talking of the Floodgates, three Anti Spell. Basically, Imperial Order. Literally, yeah. Again, like, like, it means they have to have something that's chainable. And in a format where a lot of people are playing a lot of normal spells, again, a lot of the main deck spells are normal, like your Dark Ruler, for example, this mm -hmm. is the card that everybody's playing. You end on a combo and then flip this in draw phase, a lot of the time they can't do anything. Yep. So it's just really strong. And then talking of unfair cards. <laughs> yeah, that card's pretty silly. <sighs> Feather Storm is like. If you're not playing it, play it. Yeah. Simple as that. Like, going first. It, especially, like, game two and three, where your opponent's perhaps going to be putting in more hand traps and stuff like that. If you end on a sub subpar board plus this, it's basically better than the full board. Yeah. Because, like, nine times out of ten, your opponent can't do anything about it. And then you just kill them next turn. So. Sure. And that's that. Cool. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for taking time to do the profile. I do good. really appreciate it. Any shout-outs before we go? Uh, obvious ones, uh, Jam Jam cards, obviously it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. On that note, before we go any further, one. code in the description, Rufio15. Use the link there on eBay. Still get 15% off. There you go. Carry on. Get your Christmas gifts in. That's it. And obviously, uh, Mana Screw, absolutely insane locals. Yeah. Run like a dream every single time. Yep. Yeah. So, obviously. Super competitive. Yeah. Like, 40 odd players. Yeah, 40 plus players every single week like a, a good competitive crowd as well so you, it's actually oh. worth coming every week to get like, you know, like our, our, our group regional between us and the other teams yeah exactly. we're just dominating like regionals going yeah, in and taking like, like four or five top spots yeah, every it's time insane like to have a locals that has such a high standard yeah is invaluable yeah so yeah that's what, absolutely rate um, that yeah big time uh, any other shout outs? Uh, no, I think that's about it really. Just the, the two main ones there. Uh, that's it. Okay, cool. Good. We'll wrap it up there then. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. No worries, we really appreciate time. it. Obviously, congratulations on the top as well. Thank you very much. Getting your. How many invites has this now we've had so far this, uh, since Ugh. since the lockdowns and stuff started? No so we'll carry it over, right? Yeah, yeah. All, all <laughs> the ones from last season carried over as well. I forgot this one now, which will pass down to somebody. Hopefully, me. so yeah. <laughs> I mean, ho hopefully, we actually have a Euros this year. You know, that'd be nice. That would be great, wouldn't it? We'll, we'll see what happens with that one. But 
I'll be there if it's on. Indeed. So. Well, then, again, thank you very much for taking time to the profile. I really appreciate it. If you guys haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.